Hi, I'm Tom Stolinski. I'm the senior creative producer at the Porvu Center for Teaching and Learning. What that means is I make a lot of videos. I work with faculty translating their material to the online format, and I also produce a lot of Yale's MOOCs on Coursera. If you're thinking about making a trailer for your course or courses, I'm here to help you think about what that video might be. And I'm not gonna get into the software computer studio setup stuff, but I can assure you that you can do it. And if you get stuck, we can help you. I use the word trailer to describe this video, but that might be a little misleading or intimidating because when I think of a trailer, it has lots of animated graphics, music, color treatment, location shoots, and lots of jump cuts. None of that is necessary. I could just do this. And no one is expecting you to do any of these things. What a potential student is expecting are answers to a few questions. Um, the, what are you like? Why is your course great? What's class like? How are they going to know how they're doing? And what sort of work are they going to do in the course? You could just set up a camera in your kitchen or your larder or fainting room and uh, address these points. Just record a monologue. But if this is too low tech for you and you have stuff on your computer that you want to show people, then use your computer, set up Panopto, and it'll look like this. So I'm going to run through these questions in a little bit more detail so you can get a better idea of how you can structure your trailer, uh, if you want to call it that. So what do you like? This is obviously more showing than telling. Just be yourself. Uh, something that definitely does help though is to show your face if at all possible. Uh, if you don't have a corporeal form, I, that's okay, but uh, data show that most faculty do have one. What makes this course great? Students want to see you be enthusiastic about your course, so tell them why it matters to you. Maybe there's big questions, maybe you can demonstrate how students will change from beginning to end, there might be an aspect that you really love teaching, um, and even if you're on the word great and thinking that the course might not be great, it's special to you for some reason, and students should really know what that special thing is. Um, it would be nice to demonstrate in your video what you plan to do in class. So how much will be asynchronous, how much will be synchronous. Uh, there, there's no reason to avoid being specific about the experience that you're creating for your students. Uh, if they have a clear picture of their interaction with you and with their classmates and with the material, that works. You could consider mentioning how you conduct assessments and how you provide feedback. This is not a sneaky way of asking about grades. It's really giving the students an idea of how they will know how they're doing. And even if it's just 10 seconds mentioning this, uh, that would be good. Ultimately, students want to know what am I gonna do? Um, one specific example is much more enlightening than an overview of topics or walking through the syllabus. So some options of what you can demonstrate. You could teach a micro lesson, you could present an example problem from later on in the course just as a teaser. You don't even need to offer the solution. Uh, if your students will be making anything, show examples of those things that they're going to make. If there's a ton of writing in the course, say that there's a ton of writing in the course. There might be some misconceptions about the course, things that the course does not cover, that you talk about usually in the first week of class. Put those in your trailer. I'm going to switch modes one more time here. This is just a stack of books and a piece of wood and a roll of paper. If you write a lot, this is probably a good solution. When I'm working with faculty on an online course, the same things always come up, and these are three that I think are very helpful for you with your DIY trailer. You can very rarely script or edit a person's first impression of you, so take advantage of that. And I say person, not a large classroom of people. It's going to be just a single potential student watching the video that you make, so address that one person directly. Definitely take the time to write a script instead of winging it, uh, and try to keep it under four minutes. For reference, the word count of this script for this video is 900 words, and I'm sure you think it could be way shorter. That's all I have for you right now. I truly hope that this was helpful in some way. If you have 
any questions, if you need help, visit our website or email us.